Okay, we have two. We could do more, but let's see. Let's stick with two and see what happens. I want to spoil the best out of what they should have. So bad, right? This system is rubbish, rubbish. This system is. This system is rubbish, rubbish, bullshit. Now we get got to deal with it. Yeah. This is how how we deal with the bullshit system out there. This is how we deal with that shit. Trust me. I'm Rose. I'm Nick. We're Lal. Originally, we were going to use Neel, which in Bengali means blue, but we figured no one could say that, so we reverted to Lal, which means red. The color itself is associated with like rebellion, revolution, love, anger, um, passion, and I think these things also reflect um, who we are and what we bring as musicians. We met working in the late 90s at h and uh, basement, the dance department, listening to amazing music and partying, essentially. I remember the moment that I was like, oh no, I like Nick, and then basically chased him down for a little while. I started to fall in love with Rose and realized that this was more than just us hanging out was when we would go on walks together in Jacuzzi Park <laughs> in Brampton. When I basically sat on him and said, let's make out. <laughs> this new album is called Find Safety. I, I wish, wish we could, could run, run, run away. It kind of came from the song that my brother did originally called Find Safety and it kind of set the tone for the whole record. We sound like migration, we sound like deportation, mm. we sound like everything changed and taken into another world. Um, it's surrealistic at times and sometimes it's just angry. Dead Happiness is a song that talks about money or the perception that you have money, um, but there's something missing, I think, in people's souls. So that song was really about us fighting against this idea of dead happiness and just wanting to be, you know, live simply and just, you know, be, be good to ourselves and to the people around us. LAL is essentially a collective. We really work collaboratively with musicians like Ian D'Souza, Santosh Naidu, have been playing with us for years, Keith Sterling, all kinds of musicians, Preeti, um, Rakesh. Um, but we also work with dancers and we work with visual artists and filmmakers like Sunny Bead, Matt Maskant, Ange Loft. That's incredible. Unit 2 is basically a space that we created to try to house um, a safer art space for folks of color, queer folks, queer folks of color. And at the same time, just like where we could just create really good, good vibes. So what I'm trying to get out of this, you know, and over the years it's changed. Currently, it is a spiritual practice. It's become very much a spiritual practice. I need to sing. I love to perform. I love to connect with, with energy uh, and people. Um, but it also has morphed into trying to make a living off this. As artists of color who come up, you know, from a heritage of like, from hip hop or Bengali music, of political, social justice oriented music, it's not just good enough to say, well, we shouldn't be able to survive off this. 
And so to be smarter about what we're doing, how we're doing it, to teach those skills to the generations coming up, and that's what we've been doing. Lal's mission is to really try to make music that pushes beyond boundaries, whether that's obvious to the listener or not. To also talk about issues of justice, issues that face our communities and, and, and our families. And so it's about bringing music and politics or social justice together. It's a healing thing for us, and I hope that that is something that can be transferred to people who pick up on our music. There's a yellow chair in an abandoned house and city. They're all calling for someone to share and sit down to listen. Beside the train tracks. Alone.